Hi, I'm Daryl Burnett with the Innovative Farmers of Ontario. We're leaving behind more than just tire tracks. Compaction means leaving 20% of yields behind. With Matthias Stettler from Switzerland, here in September we tested the soil stress from dozens of different pieces of equipment and tires with our Compaction Action event. With better tire technology year by year, we can carry bigger loads on less pressure and adjust tire pressure on the go. So we wanted to find out how big a deal tire pressure really is. The biggest eye-opener of the day was the rubber railroad. Two manure tankers, the front weighing 43 tons and the back at 37. The tires averaged almost 7 tons each and we ran them inflated to 40 psi over the sensors. The sensors spiked at 24 psi in the topsoil and 10 in the subsoil. So the tankers turn around and within a few minutes they've dropped their tire pressure to 10 psi and roll over the sensors again now with less than half the pressure on the topsoil. Now it measures at 11, at 6 inches, and 7 in the subsoil, staying under that threshold. And here's another example with a smaller tanker. Only two axles, but 6 tons on each tire. Here we had one side on skinnier tires, inflated to 50 psi, and wider tires at 40. But they measure about the same effect on the soil. After dropping their pressure, they reduced their impact on the topsoil by 10 pounds, coming under that 7.5 threshold in the subsoil as well. The take home for the day was that even with heavy equipment, compaction isn't inevitable. Tire pressure makes a big difference and it's well worth taking advantage of the latest tire technology related to tire pressure. Looking forward, Matthias has some advice. Obviously, we know to avoid wet field conditions, but he also said that keeping your wheel loads under 5 tons or 10 tons per axle would be a good start, whether that means reducing the load or adding more wheels. Increasing the footprint of the load with duels, tracks, or dropping the tire pressure below 15 psi, as well as controlling traffic in the field can minimize damage. But also, increasing the strength of the soil is important through crop rotation and cover crops, and reducing tillage to build organic matter and aggregate stability. At Innovative Farmers, that's what we're all about. Check out more of the data at ifao.com.